A story this time that has at least brought smiles to a community not far from the heat of Port Mosby. Happy are the Furimuti people, part of the Omani clan, landowners of Rona, the hydropower site that supplies electricity to Port Mosby. They now have a footbridge across the Laloki River, something they wanted for a long time. Gregory Avira reports. The Laloki River, stretching up to 10.6 kilometers in length, passes through many villages in the central province. Despite its current calm nature, this river has taken the lives of many who live along its bank. For the people of Furimuti village, crossing this river during the rainy season was very challenging. Because it was a really struggle for us. Kind of semi plan of being no got way log on a school na no got way log on a walk na kind something or sem. So lo mi play at them or sem. Now mi play looking this the bridge. It's like a it's it's like a great change, I should say. Or it's a it's a big benefit for us. The struggle of crossing this river during flood times was depicted in a skit by the community. So upside to old family, like come upside or go on the family floor or come back on the family floor. Even it's night, day, and this this time way we just a go come long and you see more float on. Without proper rafts or boats, the people risk their lives crossing with containers and other floatable objects. The Furumuti people are part of the Omani clan, the original landowners of Rona, where the city's power generating stations are located. For close to a decade after being relocated to this current location at 15 Mile, access to the outside was difficult. They had only two options, risk a wet crossing against the river's current or walk inland to use an access bridge built by the works department. But the old access bridge was built pre-independence and poses its own set of dangers. Fortunately for this community, state-owned power service provider PNG Power Limited has seen the existing need. A suspension cable footbridge was built and ended over last week, resulting in a joyous moment for the community. Work on the bridge, costing up to 280,000 kina, began in July last year and was completed in February by the Department of Works. many years of difficulty, the community now have a safe passage over the Laloki River. 3,200 members of this Omani clan will benefit so much not the footbridge. Because M. Kissim marks the road where flood not attach him. So we believe that Mibla can flood, but Mibla can cross now. Go to school, go to work, commercial activities, business, look out in Kakaru, can we see Lomibla? Transporting feed, na kakaru, or mipla walking farming, no place. And we see the mipla transporting. Even floods are this, this the beam, but there's some on the hill where mipla can survive them, mipla can travel to and from. While crossing will be easier for the community, taking good care is something that was emphasized by the Chief Executive Officer of PNG Power when officially opening the bridge. Want to appeal to the community, please. We like by people look out in the service because. You play talk service in Okamli plan for over 40 years, huh? close to 100 years. So that's the service now come. We like a feel long community, but especially your young plan. One kind long have long me come long and two and young plus are big head click. So please, 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 I appeal to all elders, the community elders, long look, look, long, long, that's the infrastructure because it costs a lot of money and make sure that our youths are kept under control so that they 
Rising 3 meters high, the 50 meter suspension bridge is connected between two steel towers. It is supported by four 26 diameter wire cables which are anchored to both sides of the river bank. Crossing the Laloki River was never the safe for the Furumuti people. They have lost many lives trying to cross this river during the rainy season. Apart from presenting the foot bridge, PNG Power Limited will conduct maintenance work throughout the bridge's lifespan. Gregory Avira reporting. This has been PNG Tonight, the current affairs program of NBC Television. Thank you for watching. We'll have for you another edition of the same tomorrow. I'm John Eggins. Good night.